We're working on renovating this bathroom, and right now, it's time to start on the new tile floor. It's definitely one of the more advanced projects, but you can do it. In this video, we'll show you how to prep the floor. After you've prepped, watch how to install a tile floor at lowes.com slash howto. Now getting the subfloor ready is the most important part of the job, because if you don't do it right, your floor could crack. Now a tile floor can be installed several ways. Whatever you do, just be sure to follow your local codes and your manufacturer's directions. To give you an idea of our installation, here's what we'll do. After we take out the old floor, we'll apply unmodified mortar to the existing concrete mortar bed. Then we'll put down the schluter ditra uncoupling membrane, a layer of unmodified thinset, our tile, grout, and sealer. Now keep in mind that this install is not the same as tiling a shower or tub. Before you get started, figure out how much new tile you'll need. Multiply the length times the width and add 10% for extra. If you special order your tile, you can schedule your project for when your tile comes in. Now it's time to remove the old flooring. Start by taking out the toilet, vanity, and any trim that might be in the way. Oh, and plug the sewer pipe with a rag to keep sewer gas from leaking into the room. If you're removing tile like we are, it's a really good idea to mask off the doorway and open a window. I'm not gonna lie, removing tile gets really dusty. Okay, take a hammer and give the old tile a whack. After you've broken some up, Use a hammer and chisel to remove the tile. Once the tile is gone, use a floor scraper to remove the old thin set. As you can see, our bathroom has a mortar bed. This is common in homes built before 1950, like ours. You can repair minor cracks and tile over it like we are, but if it has major damage, you'll have to remove it. Your subfloor has to be in good condition. Uniform, the proper thickness, dry, clear of any residue, and level. If it isn't level, just fill the low spots with a leveling compound. There's been a big change in this room. As you can see, we're also working on replacing our tile walls. You can find the video for this process at our website. All right, well now it's time to put down the Schluter Dietra. Now this stuff is pretty cool. It's a flexible membrane that allows for expansion under the tile, but it also gives us a strong foundation and helps protect the subfloor underneath. So, to begin installing this membrane, start in a corner and roll it out across the floor. Cut it at the wall, and that's the first piece. Go ahead and cut all your pieces. If you have to cut around pipes, just use a utility knife. It's also a good idea to mark the edges of each run to know where to spread your thin set. Once all the pieces are cut and in place, be sure to mark numbers on each piece, as well as corresponding numbers on the floor. If you have door jams and doors, Stack a floor tile on a piece of the membrane against the trim. Use a jam saw to cut it about 1 16th of an inch above the stack and cut doors about 1 8th of an inch above the stack. Next, you'll need to mix unmodified thin set mortar. Mix it fairly loose, but not so thin that the ridges fall down when it's applied with a trowel. Use a quarter inch by 3 16th inch V-notch trowel. Apply a thin layer of mortar to the substrate with the flat side to produce solid contact with the surface, and then comb the mortar using the notch side. Roll the membrane over the floor, fleece side down, and solidly embed it in the mortar over the entire surface using a wood float. Pull back a corner of the membrane to check that you're getting full coverage. You should see half of the mortar on the floor and half on the fleece. Continue laying the Dietra, keeping the pieces tight against each other. To make the floor completely waterproof, install Curdy Band on the seams and corners. Use unmodified thin set mortar with the same trowel, making sure there's at least a two inch overlap at all seams. We're really making progress on this bathroom and we're almost done prepping the floor. We just need to make some reference lines for the new tile. Mark the center of two opposite walls and snap a chalk line. Spraying hairspray works well to hold the chalk on the membrane. Do the same on the other two walls to form a cross and check that it's square. Loose lay the tile along the lines using the spacers for accuracy. Leave about a quarter inch between the perimeter tiles and walls for expansion. If the layout gives you thin cuts on the sides, adjust to get a wider cut and mark new reference lines. Now you can pick up the tiles. Well, our lines are set. Now it's time to start laying some tile. Check out the rest of the project at lowes.com slash howto.